Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Land and Property Diary. I do hope you've had yourself a good day. Now, this show, we like to showcase things that we have in the construction industry, whether it is innovation, whether it is technology, whether it is advice that you need from a lawyer or you need to talk to a professional, here is where you find it all. Karibuni sana, I am your host, Naomi Mbuvit. Now, to start us off, I want us to talk about precast hollow beams or blocks that are used in construction. They are saving you time, they are saving you money. So the information you have to come, let's find the when your information at one be why are we going to use precast for our construction needs? Hey, I have arrived. Karibu sana. Let me tell you the truth. This, this place is Kabete, it's, it's usually winter here. We are close to the Muro. Eh, so the weather so here. Temperature nile ile? Yeah, temperature hapa ina change. Na unajua tuko mwezi gani? Eh. <laughs> the winter ah, time yeah. Time ya July ni time ya baridi. Yes. Now, I've come to you because yeah. uh, you have things that I need yes. for my audience when they're doing the construction. Yes. Hapa uko na mayo. Let me put you inspect inspect mali yako. Hata labda niambie uko ni inspect nini hapa. Before we even begin, let me thank you for visiting us today. Mm -hmm. Very appreciative. Na vile umenipata hapa, umenipata mm -hmm. niki admire this is a called a precast panel. Mm -hmm. It's usually hollow inside. It's reinforced. It's 90 mm thickness. Mm -hmm. Na hiki kitu kinafanya kazi gani? Mhm. Mm it's now replacing the walling. Okay. Yeah, the typical wall that we know mawe. This is the new walls that doesn't need mortar. It doesn't need TD as plaster in works. You can skim it directly and it's very easy to install. How does it work? We produce it on this line. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> so the wire that you're stepping on. This now? Yeah, these are the reinforcement in a panel. Okay. So um, we have an extruder machine that extrude on top in our chair, mold mm -hmm. your wall. Okay. So that wall, so we cut segments of Ukitaka ya fence because we are using it for the fence as well. We call them precast click fence. Mm -hmm. So for the fence ones, they go for three meter section. Nuba mzuri and nyikona height mzuri. Twelve courses, mm -hmm. we cut at 2.7 meters. This is ukuta ya nyumba? Ukuta ya nyumba. Then these are ukuta siya tini slab peke yake? Yes. Okay. Then na kuanga 600 mm thickness. Uh-huh. Maya kujange na kuanga 400. Yes. So this is slightly 200 more. Alafu ki kipanda juu ni 2.7 kama unajenga wall. Uh-huh. And then he has a click and lock, he just click. Oh, that's how you join them? Yes. You just click, alafu panda ya juu na ifunga na rindi. Okay. Mm. Now, why then does this become a better solution than uh, what the brick and mortar tumezoe mawe, darugo, weka zimiti yako, kadukado, QR it? What is the advantage of using uh, this? So we pre-manufacture the wall for you under set parameters and they are only transported to you as ready to assemble walls. Mm -hmm. What do I mean? We can order a three bedroom. We already know how many precast panels we need. So we give you a predetermined cost. Hakuna work, ununue mawe excess. And then transportation. If you're doing a three bedroom house, you're told to buy 2,000 pieces of stones. Mm -hmm. Here, you only need 100 pieces and one truck. 2,000 pieces of stone means about four trucks. So transport cost is? It's already high as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then ease of installation. Precast comes and cut labor costs by 70%. We have a new slab system. We're calling it a composite slab. It's ideal for raised for, raise floor for, for the foundation. Uh -huh. Where in places where there's cotton soil, you don't need to excavate cotton soils. I mean, you already know cotton soil is very prevalent here in Kenya mm -hmm. and it's quite expensive to excavate. So the composite slab means what? We're using the same wall material mm -hmm. to be the infill. So between a, a beam and another beam, we call it beam to beam flooring, mm -hmm. or popularly known as beam and the block. Mm -hmm. The block now has been replaced by the panel. Mm -hmm. And the panel for many years used to be called a waffle. So the waffle slab is the same concept, only that the waffle used milestone steel to be reinforced in the midsection. Now we are using high tensile or pre-stressed T-beam, mm -hmm. and the pa precast panels lock in tandem with the beam, but the spacing is one meter. What are people skeptical about when it comes to this uh, innovation, especially this uh, uh, pre precasting? So, in our demystification, demystifying process, mm -hmm. we find a lot of resistance. Resistance is mostly coming from fundis mm -hmm. who feel threatened. You know, a fundi, cousin has a in 10 days, but the precast is two-day job. Yes, yeah. uh, they resist that way, but they resist by selling a, a known fear, misinformation. And then I also find 
A section of our structural engineers also resistant, where they used to prescribe a lot of riba and they get paid to come and design and all that. It's now taken by the machine. So what you're saying is, it's a lack of information. We yeah. all know information is power. Yeah. So it really is the lack of information. Yeah, it's a lack of information. Yeah. All right. And these are products used globally. It's not that we are, we're starting so to use them are, here. It's new for us here. Yeah. All right. Are you manufacturing everything here? Yeah, here in Guitaro factory. Mm. Uh, we have four lines. We produce the popular pre T beam with our, our, our pre bed machine. Mm. We have a yard for walling with the extruder machine. Mm. We also produce blocks. We are popular for click blocks for walling, which don't need any skimming material also, and they click. Those click blocks are now becoming very popular. How long does it take? Let me give an air, for example. I have a three bedroom basic house. Yes. How long does it take from my, the time I'm ordering yes. to the time you're coming to actually assemble it at my space? So we can do a three bed, two bath unit within seven days, the shell. Because here it's pre-manufactured. We've manufactured everything for you. We put it on a truck and only the assembly job happened at your site. We had an offer for a million shillings you get the foundation and the walls raised up, that is a shell. And then you only come in to do the windows, the roof, and the interior finishes. Mm. Yeah. I <laughs> offer of doing a house. Yes. A three bedroom. Yes. That is the foundation, the walls. Walls. The channels to hold these precursor walls together. For a million bob. For a million bob. Done in seven days. So with Steve M. Singh, just put... Work at Pias. 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 Zako. Zako. Okay. okay. Aju. Okay. Just suspend with a ready to assemble composite floor with a one meter panel. Koroka kaki to kadogoju. Okay. Yes. Sasa, see, we go Unionese practically. This is a video on Galileas and Akaj. We go at the manufacturing plant. Yes. Twenty. Okay. Twenty. Okay. So, what do you do with the Jesimia Ribika? Ribika kama easy. No, you're in the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen has remnants of breakages. Mm -hmm. We have a crusher machine. Mm -hmm. So we recycle this, we crush them and reuse this. So Pia Wewe Una Asara? Sina Asara. Yeah, material? Yeah. Okay. So you crush them and then reuse them to manufacture. Okay. So yeah. just do the process again. Yes. Continue. All right. Yeah. Super. Hey, Apa Na Changanyikiwa, Ata cannot tell what is what. Tell me, talk to me. So what is this? This is a precious TV. Uh -huh. uh, this is the main component for the foundation and upper floor slabs. Okay. In the Bebanga, Mahalo Nekanga. Vit. Eh. Tempea, tempea. This is the main component. Okay. And many people who don't know, uh, this, this beam is pre-cambered. Mm. Pre yes. Mm -hmm. So beam, no, no, in upper, you can see it in the upper, you can see it in the upper, you can see it in the upper. So you So why is it cambered? Because uh, when you load from above, it should now be in a lot of zuri. Kaliye. Kaliye. But if you load it in the upper, it has to be Ah, Yes. And then why is it camber again? Because it doesn't need any prop when you're installing it. The camber is uh, derived by the stressing. Remember, we use high tensile strength steel. So whatever we use here is 1770 MPA. But for it to work, as we have a machine on a hydraulic station, it So the parameter is that that's the only time you can now pour the concrete. If you don't cover the parameter, you can do it in a break. You can put it in a So, it may set you in such a way, it will talk up and they fail to a customer. I'm also getting is, I'm 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 getting is, i so they all work the same. So you put a nikke kengri ne zina lock. Zina lock. So na ipandisha tuwe niki lock. And as much 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 as to Kisonga. To Kisonga. Okay. So you only need four panels for uh, a standard fence. I'm too busy working now. 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 I'm too bus
very safe. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying this is for the wall and we have for the this is for wall uh, perimeter wall. Yes. This is my mission nyumba. So oh. for the perimeter wall, you put it across. Kwa nyumba ina simama. Oh. Yeah. Why is that? Because <laughs> after the nyumba, we need we, we we don't need these columns. Okay. So ile kisimama ina endanga continuous. Oh, so it just goes it clicking. Click, click, click. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Now, can I use this? Yeah, mm -hmm. Ukuta. Yeah. Can I use it for the slab? Yeah, you can use it for the slab. So, this is the one meter panel. Mm -hmm. We hold it from here. Uh -huh. Here, here, here. Like all right. that. Yeah. Then you come. You're going to use it, baby. Talk to Akidola. Talk to Akidola. Talk to Akidola. This should lock here. You okay. can see the groove, eh? Mm -hmm. So, it's going to lock. Hold on. Oh, so this groove, this goes into this. Yeah, I think I'll be zoomed. Hold on, I remove the finger first. Just get over. Maybe a smaller one than the other. Okay. All right. So we don't pop concrete. You meter in it? In the precast one meter panel. One infill. meter panel. Infill. All right. And also when you're transporting, maybe when you have you can transport your slab very quick, lighter and cheaper. Being lighter, does it affect the quality or how much it can take? This is a reinforced panel and make this comparison with the waffle slabs in Kenya. Mm. The waffle slabs, very popular, same concept, only that they are using nice strength steel to be reinforced mm -hmm. and they don't use these uh, pre stressed T-beam, they use steel, regular steel. If someone needs to just come and experience a steel for themselves, where yeah. can they find you? So, we are based in Gitaro in Kikuyu. I'm also joining Kikuyu and reporting Kikuyu in Kidogo. This direction of my phone is in Kikuyu. What is the number of Kikuyu in Kikuyu? The number to call is 0780-955. Triple yeah. Thanks so much for your time. So this one is called the non-stamp precast uh, click fence using a uh, H blocks as a column. Mm. It's just a block. Uh, there's a way they marry together. So they click and lock. And yeah, you are me for a example. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't do any stiff footing. Nakalianga took a blind in Kidogo, and you need four of these to make a 2.4 meter height fence. Okay. And uh, we have the other. What yeah. is the difference? So we call this precast. I really like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this we produce out of our molds, polyethylene mold. Amoi konai mazera mazera effect. Mm. And they have their post as well. Mm -hmm. And also they click and lock. So this we, we stuck about six of them to give us the same 2.7 meter height. Mm -hmm. And I tell my customer, he una una tisha raya na the front. Yeah, we say kwa neva kule nyuma. Okay. Kule nyuma una eka. You can put this one. Yes, yes. But this one is, works very well at the front at because the front. nothing else you can do to this. Nothing else. Yes, yes. You can get through to eka. Get through to eka, and then you can also color it nicely the way you want to change the effect, or you can leave it this. It's the original way it came from the for the cement, okay. from the concrete. So, what are you going to break for the kidogo? What are you going to do with the magic city? Well, Muslim is here. Solutions in the market for construction needs. Amos is telling me you not want to waste any material. You not waste your money. You not waste your time. Seven days of construction, you don't even waste your you don't even your space for too long. Let me take a short break and I'll be right back. Thank you. 